What's up guys, welcome to the channel, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Cardano's rise to the fifth coin overall by market capitalization, solidifying itself as a blue chip crypto. In this video, we're not only going to be talking about how it got here, but we're going to be talking about why it's here to stay and also give you guys some technical analysis. So definitely stick around for the entire video. And before we get into the video, I want to ask you to consider joining our growing community by subscribing to the channel if you are someone who is serious about including cryptocurrency into your overall wealth building strategy. But before we even talk about Cardano, we need to address this market cap, which is now $1.4 trillion or just shy of it, up 16% on the day and it's a monday so we could be looking at an incredible week in cryptocurrency as this bull run kind of continues to roll on here so congratulations smash that like button if you've been investing in crypto for a number of years like i have bitcoin itself trading at forty six thousand dollars breaking its all-time highs today and this of course all comes on the news that tesla is buying 1.5 billion dollars worth of bitcoin and will eventually accept bitcoin as payment. So I know a lot of you guys, we all talk about Lambos in this. We all talk about, you know, having a Lamborghini in this space. But maybe, maybe one day you buy a Tesla with your Bitcoin. That could be a real possibility all of a sudden. But enough of that. Let's get into Cardano and talk about how it is now sitting in the number five spot, currently with a $21 billion market cap right underneath Polkadot, which is number four. But basically, they are neck and neck. And of course, they are all on the heels of Ethereum with almost a $200 billion market cap at the moment, which is obviously a significant amount of money. But if you believe like I do that Cardano could rival Ethereum, and we're going to talk about why in this video, um, this market cap can become much, much larger if you just look at how large the Ethereum market cap is. So just keep that in mind. Um, and in truth, you know, I know you guys see me make Ethereum videos. Obviously, I make Cardano. I make Polkadot videos. I own all three of these. You know, I am hedging my bets here. I believe all three of these um, is kind of like the Holy Trinity, but that's a topic for another video. So one of the main reasons behind this massive price rally, 139% this week, that's how high this price has risen. Crazy, crazy price action, guys, if you're just kind of tuning into Cardano and you aren't really aware of it. But basically, we've got this smart contract implementation. So let's talk a little bit about what that was. So they successfully completed the Mary hard fork. This was a few days ago. This article here is from February 4th. So Cardano, one of the largest coins by market cap, has made the next step in its transition from Shelly to Gogan. So just if you're new here real quick, if you don't know what that means, Shelly and Gogan are two different eras or phases in the Cardano roadmap. And Shelly focused on decentralization, which is now complete. And we are in the Gogan phase here, and we will be implementing smart contracts upon the completion of this phase. So this next step we talk about involved one of two necessary hard forks. The hard fork named Mary took place yesterday, which was a few days ago now, but that was February 3rd. And it finally brought native asset support to Cardano. Now the project is closer than ever to unlocking decentralized finance, which I've talked about on this channel, on its network. So remember, I mentioned in the intro, Cardano is potentially going to rival Ethereum. And it will have its own ecosystem, much like that of Polkadot as well. It will have its own ecosystem of decentralized applications. And truthfully, I cannot wait to start covering some of these projects on this channel too. With this move behind it, Cardano can finally transition from a testnet to a multi-asset network, ready to grow and bring capabilities such as issuance and distribution of new tokens. So you think about Ethereum, you think about all these ERC-20 tokens, all these different projects that exist on the Ethereum blockchain. Well, now developers are going to have the option to develop and build on Cardano in the coming months. And so the project plans to roll out the upgrade on Cardano mainnet, because right now it's in testnet. But they want to do that by the end of this month and unlock smart contracts within the ecosystem. That's this month. So things are moving on Cardano. I hear a lot of people on Twitter, they tweet about Cardano and they say, how is this thing valued so much? It's all speculative. Nothing's happening. Guys, I've been following this project very closely over the last couple of years. There are a lot of things happening and the team is arguably the hardest working in cryptocurrency and all of their research is scientific and so when this thing finally does launch 
it's not going to have the hiccups that Ethereum does, and it's going to be functioning on a higher level than Ethereum does. That's that's factual. They're not going to have scalability issues. They're not going to have security issues, right? They're not going to have high gas fees. All these issues that have been the Achilles heel of the Ethereum network um, have been designed to be sidestepped by Cardano. In the introduction to this video, I mentioned how I believe that Cardano is here to stay in the top five. And in my thumbnail, as you can see here, you know, I'm calling it a blue chip crypto, right? If you're a stock investor, really, and you don't know this, what a blue chip stock is, it's just like a Fortune 500 company, like something from the S&P 500. Like for instance, Apple would be a blue chip stock. Tesla itself would be blue chip at this point. So what I'd like to talk to you about is the amount of ADA staked. So listen to this fact here. The amount of ADA staked on the network continued to rise throughout January and is now at a record of 22.6 billion tokens staked, representing, here's the killer, representing 72% of the so total supply. So 70% of the total supply of ADA is currently being staked. And let me just tell you, when people stake, and I know this because I'm one of them, I am currently delegating my ADA. Um, when people stake, there's not a big incentive to to leave um, and to take profits because you know you're going to be earning passive income. It's like a stock that pays you dividends. You're not looking to cash out, especially if the stock's performing well, right? And there's something to be said to take a little bit of profits along the way. And I truthfully would suggest that, although I'm never giving official professional financial advice and I'm not a professional financial advisor. I'm just sharing my thoughts. But, you know, this is a big deal. The fact that 72% of the ADA is locked up here and you can see the total percent staked here. And this is very current. This is from February 8th. You can see how this case continues to ride. I'd like to just talk price with you just a little bit to talk about where the likely levels of this thing going. I'm not here to make a wild price prediction in this particular video. Although, let me know in the comment section, I can do a price prediction if you'd like to see one. I just want to point out this level here. We're looking at the weekly candles. And when you look at weekly candles, they really show significant resistance and support levels. Um, because these are levels that couldn't be breached over the time frame of an entire week. And if you go all the way back to January 2018 and December 2017, believe it or not, these are the last time we saw these levels kind of come into play here. And this was the level of 93 cents, I'm calling it. And it was a weekly high during both of these weeks. And so what we might call this is historical resistance. It's not resistance from the last two days or two weeks. It's historical resistance resistance. And also, I want to point out that this is so long ago. So there's two things you should know about that. Number one is there's not that much resistance really throughout history, right? We just saw this, this point. But the fact that it acted as weekly resistance back here might mean it might be a speed bump on our way to $1. So keep an eye on $0.93 cents if this keeps rising. And I'm not here making predictions. I'm just telling you a really critical level. Like if you are looking to swing trade, um, you might want to look to take profits at 93 cents. Again, not financial advice. Now, if this thing falls, the next critical level would be roughly around 50 cents. And if I scroll into the daily chart, you can see we were at 50 cents just yesterday. So you might say to yourself, you know, Anthony, that's such a huge drop from here. Well, yeah, but we were there yesterday. So you have to keep that in mind. This is very volatile right now. These, this, the crypto market is moving right now. The crypto market goes through periods, all markets do. They go through periods where they, where they really move a lot and they go through periods of consolidation. Right now we're moving. So, you know, things can happen very quickly right now. And as we stay on this daily chart, the last thing I want to point out from a technical aspect, if you look down here, this is the volume profile for the visible range. So for all the price data shown here, this shows where what we call the point of control is, where the most buying and selling activity took place. And you can see in this case that the most buying and selling took place 13 cents and under, which says to us, and I want you to understand this, that the vast majority of people holding their ADA right now are in profit. So congratulations to you if you are one of those people Again, this isn't a price prediction video, but it is a video to tell you that I'm excited about the future with the smart contracts coming and all the people staking. And we're number five overall by market cap. There's a lot to be excited about here, folks. So, you know, congratulations. And let me know in the comments section how high you think the price of ADA can go in 2021. What is the ceiling this year? 
because I think we're going to blow right past the dollar forty. We're going to blow right past this all time highs, maybe within the next month or two. Aside from that, I want to thank you for watching. Remind you to never invest more than you can afford to lose in cryptocurrency. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.